Hey YouTubers, it's uh, Captain Lasseter here aboard the Visionaire. It's the 12th day of, my goodness, uh, April. Wow. 2022, first mate Ginger over there. She's she's sleeping. Good girl. She's a good girl. No, she's not sleeping now. Anywho, uh, yeah, so after logging a gazillion YouTube hours and uh, millions of conversations, and way too many videos being way over overly confident about this is what we need to go on the hook I think it's been almost a year now I, I mean I, it has been almost a year now uh, May 20th was the day I first laid eyes on this sailboat she is a uh, Baylander Buccaneer built in 1977 and uh, it's 27 and a half feet LOA without the motor or the, the bow sprit or, uh, the pulpit so roughly 30, I always just say 30, just I round stuff off. At any rate, um, after all, after a year or so of really just talking out my butthole about <laughs> what I think needs to get done, so I've become very overly confident at times. Turns out I'm wrong a lot. Um, to go on the hook, which is our goal, the goal, um, we're gonna need strong, stronger ground tackle. I think I've got like a, eight or maybe 12 pound about a 12 pound little anchor which is what you might use for a kayak um at any rate i'm gonna need stronger ground tackle uh i'm gonna need uh and I'm, we're just going over off its bio but staying on topic stronger ground tackle we're gonna need a, a, a workable usable solar kit i'm gonna go small on that because i don't need much and i've i've done that uh experimented with what i actually need and we're going to need a good freaking dinghy. Now, unless I'm just hit with a blessing, uh, which that happens a lot lately. Uh, to buy one brand spanking new, I could also add in trolling motor with that, but uh, buy one brand spanking new, bargain basement. I mean, just a solid, reliable dinghy. It'll be 600 bucks. That's about as low as you're going to get buying one brand new. I've seen some on Amazon for like 350 400 but uh, taking Ginger with me and her, her claws and her hyperactivity still being a puppy, I don't want to puncture it. So um, I did see one at West Marine. It was on sale at uh, for four ninety nine when I saw it. So six hundred plus tax. Throw in another hundred for an outboard or a trolling motor. Definitely not an outboard at this point. But I, I could use the rowing exercise and. Um, so we've got to have a we've got to have a dinghy. We got to have a solar setup. We're gonna have a thirty bucks. I can get a trickle charger for the battery, which will be fine. But I can operate pretty much everything I need to operate and charge off of one of these uh, Jackery uh, two hundred fifty dollar solar panel, one hundred watt solar panel, or two hundred watt solar panel setups, uh, where you can actually um, you know run. You can charge your computer, and it does have a uh, um, inverter three outlets for an inverter I've looked at that I, I recently purchased it was like 30 bucks online uh, a switch panel and I've hooked up everything that is 12 volt more or less in the cabin lights fan stereo um, chargers I wish I should be able to turn this around but I'm not gonna screw up the video uh, anyway so we got everything we got a nice little switch panel over there it's LED lit it's reading 13.5 a 12 volt, volt battery oh but it's plugged into the uh, uh, the uh, battery maintainer so a lot of the nece uh, necessary things that I needed have been bought uh, like the battery maintainer uh, the switch panel it's just a matter of getting another uh, getting the wiring done which is a matter of buying just a few feet of wire getting my ass in gear and I've been doing nothing but working just to, just to pay the, the slip fees and my car note and the car insurance because I had a little boo boo a while back in the parking lot. It was a uh, weird situation, but really to honestly do this thing, twelve hundred bucks in the next two months, and uh, work's been good lately. Uh, summer's kicking off here on the island, and it's good for business. Uh, I drive Uber. Why? You know, it's, uh, why not say that? So uh, work's been good, pulling in four or five hundred a week. So, uh, getting some of the smaller bills out of the way, and uh, I should be able to get this sucker on the hook with a dinghy, strong ground tackle, 
and uh, the Jackery Solar setup. Uh, I'm going to go with the. I can go really small on all these things. Smaller dinghy, less money. Small boat, just me and the dog. Um, smaller solar panel. I don't have really. I really have nothing to run other than the laptop. I have two laptops, but running the laptop, charging the phones, which double as my nav system, which is an open CPN. Great system. I took the ferry. I took a Ginger across uh, to Bolivar the other day on the ferry. I ran OpenCPN on the ferry as if you know, we were on the boat moving. Ran like a dream on my little. Uh, I could get a tablet, you know, but uh, probably will. Other than that, uh, we got walkies for uh, when there's two people back and forth, uh, talking back and forth, walkie talkies. Got a VHF radio. Uh, have a um, a two cycle um, generator. I bought and own. Um, it fits in the lazarette. I just need to cut a little bit out of there so it fits in there easily and I don't have to struggle to get it out. Uh, everything's running off 12 volts. Well, the shore power is great because you can plug in a, a real window unit AC and just flood this place in 10 minutes. It's getting neat in here. It's freezing. But uh, off of shore power, uh, also the outboard Suzuki 15 is a four stroke. And it uh, also has an alternator, which is great. So between the solar, the uh, the two-stroke generator, and the uh, the outboard, which has an alternator, which plugs into the battery. And I really need another battery. Go ahead and add another hundred on there. Thirteen hundred. That brings the grand total to thirteen hundred. And then um, you know, running whenever I'm running the outboard, it will recharge that battery in. You know, couple hours so uh, I can run off solar I can run off the battery I can recharge the battery I've got my voltage meter there I've got my switches for turning on and off and a great thing I've learned I bought these cheap 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 from Walmart garden lights uh, they're like 300 lumens but I mean they're bright enough for a, uh, a, a spreader and a deck light and I just I zip tied them to the mast which that'll have to be moved when I Hoist the main, but um, they work. They're functional. They come on in the winter time when I bought them last October, and I've had them that long. They come on at uh, obviously when it gets dark, and they go off, and they lasted the whole uh, what was it the winter uh, the, the the autumnal equinox, the longest day of the year. They came on at dusk, and went off at dawn, so I know they'll last through these short summer nights. Uh, I have one on the on the cockpit. Just like a little spreader down, uh, shooting down light down into the cockpit. And then I have two discs that I bought at the bin store, which is great, that are solar powered. And frankly, just using these solar powered lights on a sunny day, uh, you can turn them off even and save the energy that they've absorbed. You can bring those inside and you're good to go. Uh, I unplugged the battery maintainer from <coughs> the. Uh, the marine deep cycle interstate that I have. I think it's an interstate, whatever it is, battery, 12 volt. And uh, I unplugged the maintainer and kept an eye on the voltage meter. And I ran, what did I run? Everything that I have this 12 volt had hooked up. Oh, the water pump, uh, which is not that necessary, but it's nice to have when you want water on demand, pressurized water. Plus, this is another great holding tank. I think it's a 10 gallon, and I'm sitting on top of it. Uh, charged a couple of things and it didn't go down. It didn't go down a whole uh, It didn't go down to even 11 after a couple of hours and I was really impressed with that So I just keep my uh, my computers uh, and My nav and everything charged a lot of that I can put in a backpack and take it with me when I go to shore and go to work go ashore and go to work uh, The dinghy looks like it will fold up and fit easily. It'll fit into like a uh, a big suitcase basically uh, or a big duffel duffel bag, but it will certainly fit into the overhead capsule that fits on top on top. Excuse me, on top of the uh, little Jeep Patriot that I drive. So, if I don't have a place to tie her up and I have to take it with me because I don't want to get stolen, uh, that and a trolling motor should take care of that. And I can row as well. I'm not. Uh, I'm still in pretty good shape at this age. That is actually where we really are. These are the things we actually really need. We actually have a budget. If I had these three items right now, 
I could spend one day of work tomorrow doing the wiring that I'm procrastinating on uh, for the nav lights and the anchor light, which could also be solar. Except when you're under sale, you don't want to have your anchor light up. So that's something to think about. At any rate, yeah, I could do one day's work if I had these three items, plus what it takes to get those things all sorted out. Like I said, an extra hundred bucks for a Coast Guard regulation. Um, everything you got to have on board. A new fire extinguisher would be, would be great. Uh, I'm going to need a, a horn, an air horn, until I install a new horn. Ah, the light just came on. And anyway, so that's where we are at uh, 8 o'clock on um, 412.22 aboard Division Air. Next month the lease is up, and I think next month will be our last month. Uh, Dr. Gaddy and I are going to go out, Jim and I, are going to go out this weekend, do another little cruise around. I hit a little bit of a bump in the road, a little hitch with the uh, title, but that will get sorted out. I think I already said that. But that's where we are. All right, signing off. Uh, thanks for watching. Definitely more exciting stuff to come. Uh, and I will keep you posted.